our Philippines. Um, you mentioned having families, and you guys are a very impressive band. So, does having children, you know, be more responsible, if you will? Did that affect your uh, approach to music in, in any way, or you know, how, how do you keep the uh, how do you keep the uh, the anger and, and, and the aggression in there? You know, the, you know, yeah. I, I know it's a separate thing, you know, the, the personal and, and the musical thing. Well, you, when you're writing riffs, you just try to keep the volume down. <laughs> and uh, like Chris has his own like riff room, probably, so he doesn't wake up. Yeah, it's it's hard with me to run around, but my kid just like take my guitar and throw it down and stuff like that. So you have to be very uh, select when you do it and all that stuff. But I mean, that's like the hardest part. I mean, I think the music's still the same, it still comes from the same place, you know. I mean, there's there's things going on in you know, daily life and stuff that still, you know, make that come out of you, you know, musically. Yeah, and, and with the last album, like I was saying before, we we put some of the more melodic kind of moments later in the record, just to have that balance. Um, but yeah, the definitely with the lyrics, they change over time. It's not always coming from a place of anger. I think some of the more empowering themes on the record or some of the more uh, relationship kind of based songs like Bitter Truth or, or uh, Honor Never Dies, you know, they're not so angry as people would think. That's why it's nice that this record has been getting some, you know, press and promotion outside of the metal world, you know, because it isn't so overly aggressive all the way through. I think there's a good balance.